shalom and greetings um i just wanted to come and share this message really quickly that lord jesus has placed in my spirit in my heart um i was laying down as you can see i'm in my pajamas um but this is important no time to come and get made up for no video um when lord jesus gives me something that he wants me to give to you i'll come and give it to you exactly how he wants me to give it to you and when he wants me to give it to you because it's important for me to continue to be the vessel for lord jesus and for my father god here upon this earth that's what this is about this is not about me being so great and me being so mighty this is about me being chosen to be the vessel of the most high god upon this earth to bring his words to you to bring his messages to you so that you can know how much you are loved by the almighty creator of the universe so today the message that i have for you is this not a popular message but a message of truth this is a message straight from the gates of heaven how have you showed god that you love him how have you showed Lord Jesus that you love him? We're speaking about two different beings now. God, the Father, the creator of the universe, and Jesus, the Christ, the Son of God, the Savior, the one who sacrificed his life. And for those who don't believe Jesus sacrificed his life, I want you to understand something. The reason why I am here as a chosen vessel before you is because of the sacrifice that Lord Jesus had, had made when he was here upon this earth. I would not be able to receive the spirit that I have received. I would not be able to ha have received the wisdom that I have received upon this earth and inside of my body if it had not been for the sacrifice of Lord Jesus, because that's what sent the spirit down here. The spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, only comes to those who believe that Jesus died and that he was also resurrected. He was raised from the dead by the Father. And those who believe that, the Father sends down his Holy Ghost to possess our body, to give us wisdom, to give us power, to give us understanding, to lead us, to guide us, to show us right from wrong, to lead us right from wrong by the Spirit of God. So that only came by the death and the sacrifice of Lord Jesus. So my question again is how are you showing Jesus that you love him for what he has done for you? How are you showing God the father that you love him is it by your lifestyle is it by the way that you do things is it by the way that you serve him i made a video about this before but this is important the lord wants to ask you how are you showing your love for him you always ask for things this is what he's saying he's saying you're always asking me for something what are you doing for me what have you done for me lately that's what the lord is asking what have you done for me lately what have you given up for me lately what have you sacrificed for me lately how have you shown me that you have loved me lately this is what he wants to know because this is the only thing that's going to get us out of the things that we are going through right now look around you people are wondering god when are you going to show up how long are you going to allow all of these things to keep happening to us in our world horrible things are happening to our children horrible things are happening to our woman horrible things are happening in our communities and it just seems like nothing Nothing is ever going to get better. It seems like God is never going to care enough about us to show up. But God wants you to know that he wants to show up for you. But first, he wants you to love him. First, he wants you to show your love for him. First, he wants to know that you are worthy of his love. You are worthy for him to send help to you. You are worthy to receive his blessings and not by serving his enemy, not by disobeying his words, not by disrespecting his messenger. He wants you to know that he needs to see something from you. That's the way out. That's our way out. That's our way to be delivered. 
if we come together on one accord in power to show the Lord, the most high creator, how much we love him, to show Lord Jesus our sacrifice, how much we love and appreciate the things that he has done for us. They loved us enough to send me, to send the spirit down here, to remember us, to gather us, to liberate us, to vindicate us. And all they want to see is that you love them. Is that too much to ask? I'm not speaking about worship. I'm speaking about love. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, and mind. Love yourself and love your brothers and your sisters. Love is our way out. Love is the way, the truth, and the life. Love comes by the spirit of the almighty God. It is time for you to obey the words of Jesus. Like I said, by loving your Lord, your God, with all of your heart, soul, and mind, your Lord Jesus, he's your Lord now, your everlasting God, by the word of the Father that he would be the mighty God and the everlasting Father. Love him, love yourself, and love your brothers and your sisters. And that is how we will be delivered in the mighty name and power of Jesus, the everlasting everlasting God. And that is the word of the Lord. Shalom.